Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Island. Where the hell did they put um, that? In the last episode, we um, cleared out the lifeguard tower of the zombies, so um, the people couldn't move into it. And then we traveled up here to the lighthouse, which is where we're at right now. In this episode, we're going to continue. I'm going to ask for all the side quests here. As I said, I was going to do at the beginning of this episode. I said at the beginning, of, at the end of the last episode, that at the beginning of this episode, I was going to go around and ask for all the side quests. So let's do it. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. How can I say no? How hey, can that I say plane no? might be our ticket out of here. So, don't we don't even have to worry about this side quest for a long time, because we don't have to worry about this side quest until we get to the jungle. And it is a very long time until we get to the jungle. It's not going to be for a while, so don't even worry about that. Because first we're on the island, then we go to the city, then we go to the jungle, then we go to the prison. And that's basically how this entire story works throughout this game. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. Oh my god. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Alright, let's do it. I'm in. Thank I'm you. I'm in. There's a wrecked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure we can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. Well, let's give it to him. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. All right, side foot completed, and we got a nice mod right there. Stephen is looking for me. This is uh, the girl we talked to that that Stephen guy from the Lifeguard Tower is looking could for. You, could you please tell him that if you see him? That I miss him and, and I wish you were here with me right now. So that's the girl we have to talk to, to um, for that Steven guy for his side quest. So now we just have to go back to talk to him and, and that's done. All right. We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get Probably the power. Probably dead back. or a zombie. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. How can I say no? How right. can I say no? Good. I'm Sam. The transformers are in the northern part of the gold bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage ship. I'm Darwin, by the way. Okay, so this is a side quest, but we actually have to do this because... So, remember how in the last episode we talked to that Dominic guy? Okay, so hold on a second. So, the main quest is to help Mike and Dominic. Dominic's quest is to... Um, is to get the amplifier, but the amplifier is in this room that this guy's blocking, and we can't, won't, and he won't let us in there until we do the side quest he wants. So we have to do his side quest in order to get in there and get the the side that that for the other side quest, so we can finish the main quest. I know that must sound really confused, and everyone's probably really confused right now, but that's really how this game works. All right, all right. Um, how am I? It's a joke. Oh no, there's. There's um, someone up here we have to talk to as well. Holy shit. Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that the help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Yep. Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's that's probably my favorite one. He's really just like, uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that's my job. favorite one, he says. He's just like, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you can... We saw you get so... bit by one of those things, man. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk to him. That's right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I actually didn't talk to him because I ended the video before I talked to him. All right, let's talk to him now. 
I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. <laughs> now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Yep. Yep. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. Oh, wait, See I did talk to him. Okay. I remember. I was going to say, I think I didn't talk to him, but I remember I did because I remember getting mad because he called the people here my people. They're my people. They're not your people. They're just people on this island just like you. They have equal power like you do. Come to crap down. You're not their god. Alright. Fast roll back to the lifeguard tower. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's the first time I used this- oh crap, yeah, I forgot it's on here, but that is something called fast travel. And whenever you get to, like, a main point in the game where there's, like, survivors, like the lifeguard tower or the lighthouse, you can go to one of those fast travel maps. Um, there's one at each location, and you can use it to teleport, um, um, to whichever place, um, you want to go that has, like, the survivors and stuff. Right now, the only ones we have are the lifeguard tower and the lighthouse. Alright, let's give this guy the cardboard so we can complete this quest. Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. Alright, so now we're gonna be able to get the car once he fit, um, fixes it, but since we gave him the car parts. Um, do any of my weapons need repairing? They might. Let me check. Um, yeah, they do. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, there's a side quest. Oh yeah, oh no, this isn't a side quest. This is the guy who I talked to now that we found that, that girl that he was trying to find. Let's hope there's something useful. You found her? They're still here. Fuck it then, I'm out of here. Alright. Alright, oh yeah, we got some cash as a reward. Okay, now we're going to do... Um, um, no, not that one. Which one is it? Um, hold on. Which one is it? Oh, yeah, here it is. A Ray of Hope, because this is the side quest we need to do. After I finish this side quest for Dominic, I'm going to, before I do the one with Mike, which is the other one we have to do, I'm gonna do some real side quests. Like, you see, I have a bunch of side quests that I, I don't have to do, but after I do this this one with Dominic, I'm gonna take a break from doing, like, the main story that I have to do and do some side quests, you know, for some fun. Alright, he's working on the car right now. Alright, I'm gonna teleport. Or actually, okay, hold on. I, I, th this is a trick I used to do all the time. So he has to fix the car, so we have to wait a little bit before he fixes it. So what I... Always, I remember I used to do this all the time. Every time I did this, I would just run up here, then run back, and by the time I came back, he would have the car finished. That's the strategy I would use, so I wouldn't have to wait for him to fix the car. Oh crap! Um, I didn't, I didn't run far. You have to go like a certain amount to get far enough away from him so the game can like reload it. But I didn't go far enough, so let me go a little farther this time. Okay, I think that's far enough. It says checkpoint in the bottom left, so I think that means, so I think that means that it reloaded it now. Right, so let's head back here. Yep, here we go. It's really like a dream. This ride is yours whenever you need it. Um, oh yeah, and also, if you didn't see the last episode, you'll know that this game, um, the driving wheels are on the right side of the car instead of the left, because the people who made this game live in that in that part of, the pl um, part of the world where the driving wheels are on the right side of the car, and because of that, all the cars in this game have their driving wheels on the right side of the, of the car. So that's one of the few things I don't like about this game because it gets annoying because I don't like having the driving having the, the driving side be on the right side of the car. Alright, let's head up here now. Oh crap, we just crashed it.
closer to that tree. Take care of these zombies. Oh crap! Oh god! Oh god! I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting surrounded! I'm getting surrounded! No! Crap! Oh my god! Get up! Okay, thank god, we finally got him. Oh, there's another one, crap. Got him. Alright. Alright. Um, no, not that way. Whoa! Okay, where the crap did you just come from? Got him! Yeah, I know that zombie right there is- I know that body right there is alive, because you can tell by the position it's in. But I'm, I'm not supposed to go that way, I need to go this way. Here we go. Wait, hold on. I really need to get my health back. Oh yes, energy drink, perfect! Oh, it's Marcus, we gotta save him! I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally saving you. What the crap are you talking about? Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that You're other transformer the back fence. online while safe. I finish fixing this one. Go! Okay, so there's two of them. He's fixing this one, so we have to go to the other one and fix it. Hold on. There's someone else we gotta do before I go over and do that. I'm gonna pick up some more side quest. Let's head over here to this cabin. Oh, I can't my stamina back. He's so weak. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. All right, let's see what's in here. All right. Okay, hard to take a look. All right, here's just a bathroom. Nothing much. But in here, you have a drunk lady passed out. Also, we have a personal ID. And we have I'm some people with some side quests as well. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water... I'll give you whatever I have. Oh my gosh, he's now, dying. Okay, oh. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. Alright, we already have some water. Oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she saying it like that? Oh, thank oh, God. Stop saying it like that. Oh, Why, how much water oh, do you God. need? I... I can't last much longer without water. Yeah, I just gave you four water bottles and you still... What the I crap? I can't last much longer without water. Yeah, you can't last much longer without water, even though I literally just gave you four water bottles. I'm safe in here. The monsters can't get me. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Who are you? you? I remember you. Oh, 
god. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, I don't. Oh god, this is one of my least favorite characters in the entire game. I'm Annie, and I'm, I'm looking Annie. for my teddy bear. My teddy bear! I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? I can do that. The last no, time I saw him, really he was in our bungalow. That. Number 15, where I live with my sister, Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, oh my and God. I'm sure he'll go with you. Yep. He's a brave teddy bear. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna do that side quest just for some misery and torture, but not right now. We're gonna get back to the to our main thing. You find anything? I haven't even left the cabin! Now how do you think I found someone when I haven't even left the cabin? I really just wanna to talk to that weird teddy bear girl. And then you expect me to have found more water. <laughs> oh, we have some more slots unlocked for some weapons. Um, let's get some out. We gotta get my purple weapon out, obviously. Let's get this cleaver out. Um, let's get this knife out. All right, let's get my good old purple weapon out. Oh, what the crap, how did I kick this? There we go. Oh, yes, these zombies can't stand my purple hammer. Wait, hold on, I think I heard some zombies. Hold on. Yep. Whoa! Calm down, buddy. There's plenty of time for autographs, but not right now. I'm busy. Uh, all these zombies are just my fans wanting an autograph. That's literally all, what all these zombies are. Like, the, this zombie right here, and that zombie coming from behind him. Both of these zombies are just fans. They're fangirls. Both of these zombies right here are fangirls, and they just want autographs because, I mean, who can blame them? Who doesn't want an autograph for Sam B? But I don't have time for autographs. Oh, what the crap? Keep going. Oh my god. I really just snuck up from behind them. They didn't even see me. I just snuck up from behind and they just got wrecked. Whoa, how the crap did you know I was behind you? You're really getting the other way and you turn around and immediately get me. How the crap? Alright, I had to put an end to you. Turn off the alarm. Oh my god, turn off the alarm. Why do you have to go to five different levers just to turn off the alarm? That's something I've never understood. You know, we can blow ourselves up right now. I can throw this at the thing and it can blow ourselves up. Or that. Alright, we got a fast. Um, Let's hope there's something useful. Alright. Alright, we finished it. Time to head back. Here they come. Let's take care of them. Oh, what the crap? How the crap? There we go. Alright. 
So now we have to head back to him now that we fixed the other thing. I don't know what the what the, you said what that's called. Um oh yeah, we can go back up from that oh wait. Oh there's some more infected. Why didn't you come back earlier when I was still over there? Oh get wrecked! I really hit them and their head just flew off. Alright. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, okay, calm down. Get the crap out of here! Alright! <laughs> Alright, everything works. Yeah. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. Oh yeah, we got some cash. Sammy began be Sammy began all that money. Oh, we have a baseball bat, but um, we don't have enough level. We can drop something to get it though, I think. Um, let's. Oh no 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 no. Um, drop that. And now we can pick that up, but we don't have enough skill level to use it yet. Um, what? Oh my god, we don't have enough skill level to use it yet, though. Oh, there goes your head. Alright, this guy's about to lose his head as well. Oh, nope. There we go. Alright, come on, you you can lose your head too, don't worry. Everyone gets to lose their head if you're a Sam B fan. Okay, come on, just put your head up a little bit. There you go. Get the crap down. You are dead, but you still keep swinging. That should be that should be Sammy's next song. <laughs> that should be Sammy's next song. You are dead, but you still kept swinging. All right, let's head back up to the lighthouse now. Ran over that zombie. Oh, we ran over another zombie. And then we crashed into the train. Oh, crap. There's an infected coming for us. We gotta get out of here. Driving off road. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. What just happened? I don't even know what just happened. We just completely crashed. Get the crap out of here, zombie. Whoa. The zombie was gliding across my... Across the hood of the car. He just ran over and over and there was zombie, but I didn't kill it. Because you know when you run over a zombie and kill it when it shows like the yellow XP on the screen. Oh, we just crashed into that wall. Let's crash into this car! Yeah! Let's go! Where the hell did I go? Can you come close? What we got here? If you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Find me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. Copacetic. Go. Copacetic. AKA Coppa. Not Coppa. We don't need Coppa. need food to tide me over until help gets here. We do not need Coppa. Coppa is evil. No Coppa. No Coppa. Okay. All Papa right. Said it's now work. we can get inside here. Let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Let's hope it doesn't. And it did. Look at that. The lighthouse is now shining its beautiful light all across the world. So now the zombies know that there's people inside the lighthouse, so now they're going to come to the lighthouse and try and kill everyone inside it. Good thinking, guys. You guys are so smart. Looks like it worked. Come on. I'll open the storage shed for you. Alright, hold on. We have to drop something in order to get that. Hold on. Um, let's drop... Um, let's drop this pal. Or, no, no. There we go. Alright. Now let's equip it. Oh yeah, our first green weapon. Alright, so... First we have, um, some, just like some random stuff. Then we have a workbench, and then we have the amplifier we need. All right, let's repair all this stuff. 
There we go. We got it all repaired. Alright, now let's head back to the Lifeguard Tower. So we can give this to Dominic. Oh yeah, and also the car automatically respawns here, which is an miracle thing. Because as you saw, we literally drove it all the way up to the lighthouse. And we crashed it into that other car up at the life, um, at the lighthouse. But um, it automatically respawns here, which is pretty cool. So we never have to worry about losing it. That's something I've always loved about the game, is that we don't have to worry about losing that car. Because it automatically respawns there. Oh my god, I'm riding into all these walls. Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks. Oh yeah, we got cash, boys. Okay, so... Um, so I've been thinking a little bit while I've been doing this, and I'm thinking I actually want to do the mic thing, and then after I come... So, all I have to do is help Mike, and then I'm done with this quest. Then we move on to the next main quest. But, I want to do the mic part of this quest, and then I'm going to accept the next main quest. Then I'll do some side quests. So now we're gonna do Mike's thing that he wants us to do. Which, um, if you didn't, if you watched the video, um, if you watched the video, um, the last video, you'll know that it's that he needs the gas to burn the bodies of all the dead people so the zombies don't smell them and get them attracted to them. Uh, attracted Keep here. You just saved we're gonna a lot of lives, quest right now. We've even saved hands. That we, we, we found, like, what we need in the back of that truck, we found it... Um, we found the, that paramedic bag that we need to complete the side quest. Um, let's get rid of, no, let's get rid of that. And let's take this. And let's put it right there. Alright, let's, let's just raid this place of everything. Alright! Alright, so now we're going to... Let's see, where is it? Um... There it is. So now we have to do this side quest. So we have to head to the gas station. I'm actually not sure if I want to do this entire quest for Mike in this episode. In fact, I might actually end the episode here. We're at... We're at 28 minutes, so yeah, I guess that's long enough. I guess I'll just end the video here, and in the next episode, I'll, um, I'll do Mike's side quest, and then I will, um, do some side quests after I do that. Bam, and, oh, crap. Bam! Well, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys next time, if you like, comment, and subscribe, goodbye.